Hello, welcome to Alaska. What's it really like here? Now you may have in your mind some idea of Alaska, how there's people who live in an eternally snowy landscape uh, in little snow houses and take dog sleds to the ice fishing rink. Nope, that's not at all what it's like. I mean, it's cold and snowy in the winter, but in the spring it's uh, when all the snow melts and turns everything that's dirt into this quicksand like mud that if you stand too long on you'll be lucky to see your shoe again in the summer. Yeah, that's pretty much what's, what spring's like. But after that, you know, you got summer when it's unthinkably hot and there are mosquitoes everywhere. Giant mosquitoes. Thank you for helping me illustrate my point. Time is now 2200. That's 11 o'clock for the Americans. I wish I were kidding. I mean, look at how bright it is here. Uh, and this is just the spring. It gets way, way brighter, uh, way longer in the summer. <laughs> and then the fall, the lovely fall when all the mosquitoes die, it becomes cold again. And, and that's actually a very nice time to be here, except for all the rain. And then it's winter again. And that's all the seasons. But we've got stuff here that's, you know, it's other than seasons. We've got houses. Lots of unfinished houses, especially, because if you finish your house, you have to tax it at a higher rate. And if there's one thing Alaskans do not like to do, it's paying the government money. We also have lots and lots of mountains. We've got two kinds of trees, Christmas trees, and the kinds that make you have allergies. Um, but it's not all nature, although that's what people come here to see, and that's one of the best things about the state because the cities aren't that great, really. They're all built in the 70s. And if you've ever seen anything built in the 70s, you know it's not a quality piece of work. Here, let me show you what uh, all the tourists come to see. Okay, here we are in the beautiful natural forest. Uh, the tourists, let's keep talking about them. What do they do? What's a tourist's first step? Well, they pay a thousand dollars or so to get on a tourist boat. That takes them from, where does it take them? Washington to, uh, to Seward or Homer. They're very similar. And then they get off in Seward or Homer and uh, get on a different boat. They look for whales or sea lions or, you know, whatever. Whatever people like, you know. Then, if that's not enough for them, they go inland to where I am. They go to Anchorage for a minute, buy some polar fleece, and then they go probably to Wasilla, and then they go for a hike, right? In the beautiful natural world that I live in here, where the trees try and poke you in the eye, the ground tries to steal your shoes, where you have to watch your feet so you don't step in moose poop, and then ultimately st scan the landscape so you don't get eaten by a bear. <sighs> That's a lot of poop. Hoping it's a dog. That one's moose poop. Ah, nice big flat area in the middle of the forest. Well, guess what? This is where moose sleep. That's why it's so flat. Yeah. This is probably not a great place to hang out over here. Getting a little bit too far into the forest now. I don't really want to go any further. See, as an Alaskan, and I can say that, uh, I'm kind of a terrible Alaskan. I mean, walking around in the forest is probably my least favorite thing to do. Because you know what? I've lived here my whole life. And you can see, I mean, you can see everything that's in the forest from my house. It's just over there. Not that far from it, really. And you know what's in here? Bears. And moose. And squirrels. I mean, squirrels aren't so scary, but they make a little noise. And you know what you think it is? You think it's a moose. And more moose poop. I mean, moose have definitely been here. Speaking of moose, here's a hilarious thing tourists do. Moose if you have never seen one, are giant. 
and adorable. And so tourists driving around in their rented cars uh, see them sometimes. And sometimes when you're driving down to the store or something, you see these tourists. And what these tourists do is they get out of their safe, rented cars made of, you know, space age plastisteel. And they walk across a field, right, to get a closer picture of a moose. And you're like, well, moose can't possibly be that dangerous because they're so cute, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <sighs> moose are giant. And then even though they eat plants, they have defenses, right? In case, say, like a bear or something tried to eat them. And one of these defenses is that their legs... That was a moose. Let me get out of here. La da da! Hannah? I need to get back over there with you. Here I am. I am not scary. And Hannah Claire, you need to get back in the house. You need to get back in the house right this minute. There's a moose right there. And that's why I don't walk in the forest for cr Anyway, like I was saying before my life was put in danger, uh, what these tourists do is they get out of their cars and walk into a field that somebody owns. It's not like it's just wilderness around here. Somebody owns that, you know, field, right? And on the other side of the field is a moose, and they're like, you know, five meters or 15 feet from this animal that with one kick could cave your skull in, right? And then they have their cheesy little camera they bought in 2002 with the two megapixels, and they're risking their life for a two megapixel picture. And they go click, and then they, uh, and they just get back in their car and drive away. I mean, very rarely do moose kill people, but they are way more dangerous than bears because people look at them. And I mean, here is a picture of one and they're, they're pretty adorable with the ears and their big nose. They look like some sort of, you know, clown animal, but they're not. If you come to Alaska, don't, Get near the moose. They're dangerous. What else is there? I lost my train of thought after getting as close as a tourist to a moose in my own yard. You know, going over the footage today, uh, the next day, uh, videos take more than one day to make, guys. I realized that I made it sound like Alaska is some kind of terrifying place. <laughs> where we all live in constant fear of being surprised by a moose while at the same time getting eaten by mosquitoes and sinking into the mud. <laughs> but I, I want to make sure that you understand that that's just me. I live in constant fear of moose. But Alaska is not a terrifying place where you get devoured alive by mosquitoes as you sink into the mud. It's only kind of like that in the spring. In the summer, it's actually really great. Um, I mean, you do have to invest in some blackout shades because the sun will keep you awake because it literally does not set in the summer. But it's a very cool place. I mean, we got lots of stuff. And if you're looking for a actually pretty cheap vacation destination, Alaska is your Pretty cool. Alaska's pretty cool. I, I suggest it. It's just when you live in a place, it's hard to remember that it's anything other than a mud, mud hole with mosquitoes and moose sneaking up on you from behind trees, right? It's, it's hard to do that. And I don't think I successfully did that in this video. And please don't this isn't really what Alaska's like. Alaska is a lovely place. 
you know, the trees and the nature and the mountains. And moose won't get you, probably. Um, it's just, it's spring right now, and, you know, animals have baby animals in the spring, and that is the most dangerous time to be anywhere near a giant, scary animal. And so I was pretty freaked out. This video is getting too long. I just wanted to end on a happy note, you know? Because it's called, What's Alaska Really Like? Or something like that. And I don't think I did that. Nope. This is not what it's really like. It's not terrifying. It's not... Well, there are a lot of mosquitoes in the summer. Do not underestimate the mosquitoes, okay? Buy one of those head nets and lots and lots of mosquito protection. But, you know, you take some precautions. It's a beautiful place in the summer and the winter. It's a pretty cool place in the winter too. I mean, if you live somewhere that's hot all the time and you want to get a little taste of winter, Alaska is one of the best places to do that. This message brought to you by the Palmer Department of Tourism. Palmer, Alaska at its best. Oh, now available at the Palmer Tourism place. These cool little Palmer pins. They've got a little thing on them and a mountain. It says Palmer. Alaska, what does it say? Alaska at its best. Uh, only some amount of money. I don't know. I didn't know they existed until yesterday. Anyway, that's a really lame place to end. This one's over by. Am I in frame anymore? Nope. <laughs>